They got truthful testimony from me. When you're the director of an organization of 38,000, sometimes you don't know what form people filled out. That's silliness. And as far as hurting the FBI's reputation, I hope not. We had to make very hard decisions in 2016. I knew we were going to get hurt by it. The question was, how do we reduce the damage? What I'm doing now is not what I love to do. I'd rather not be talking to you all. But somebody has to stand up and speak for the FBI and the rule of law. And I hope there's a whole lot more somebody's out there than just me. So so some of the court documents said that you didn't tell Sally Yates about this interview with Michael Flynn the FBI was conducting until the day of. Why did you wait until the day of to tell Sally Yates about that investigation the FBI is going to have in, in interview with him? Because I knew that if anything came of the interview, if it advanced our investigation, the attack from the Trump administration would be that an Obama holdover had engineered it. And so I had to make the decision separate from her to leave them with their only opportunity to challenge it would be to burn down the entire FBI. To my shock and horror, they've tried to do just that in the face of silence from people in this building. Director Comey, what was your reaction to right back to you. Go ahead. What was your reaction to the indictment of these two former associates of, of Michael Flynn, or Turkish lobbying? How much of that was on your radar? when you were still director? Yeah, I can't say. I can't say. Yeah, to either one, can you say your reaction to the indictment? No, at least? no reaction, and I can't tell you what I knew. Director Comey, the FBI's reputation has taken a big hit over the last year. Do you share any of the responsibility for that? No. The FBI's reputation has taken a big hit because the President of the United States, with his acolytes, has lied about it constantly. And in the face of those lies, a whole lot of good people who watch your network believe that nonsense. That's a tragedy. That will be undone eventually, but that damage has nothing to do with me. When did you first learn about the Steele dossier? Sometime in September, I think. Could have been October. I think it was September of 2016. Hi, Director Comey, what can be done to fix it about the, the way the public is seeing the FBI, what the president is saying? People who know better, including Republican members of this body, have to have the courage to stand up and speak the truth, not be cowed by mean tweets or fear of their base. There is a truth, and they're not telling it. Their silence is shameful. Yes, of the Republicans who are remaining in the House next session, do you see any taking that mantle, coming up and, and defending the FBI, taking on the president? Not yet. To, uh, to my view, to their everlasting shame, I hope they'll overcome that and realize someday they got to explain to their grandchildren what they did today. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, him or uh, me? Well, him that was kind of a big. Okay, okay. <laughs> you, and then you, and then you. I, in, in recent days, the way that the Flynn investigation has been, in interview, has been carried out, has come under a lot of criticism. In your view, should that have been happened, have handled any differently? How, how do you defend it from the criticism that this oh, interview didn't on. happen? Think well, of what's well. happened to the Republican Party. They're up here attacking the FBI's investigation of a guy who pled guilty to lying to the FBI. He should have been warned you shouldn't lie. He should have been told you can have a lawyer. Think of the state of affairs we've ended up in. That's nonsense. I'm very proud of the way the FBI conducted itself. Agile, flexible, thoughtful, pursued the leads where you'd want us to. Director Cohen. Catherine, yeah, okay, so and then you're next. Go uh, maybe for you or your uh, attorney, my understanding is that when you shared your memos with your legal team, that there was a follow-up for a classified containment operation by the Bureau. Was there a spill of classified information when you shared those <clears throat> memos? Yeah, I'm not going to talk about something like that. So, Director Good. Comey, well, that's seeing... important to talk about whether classified information was misleading. Whether you think it is or not, I'm not going to talk about it one way or another. Go ahead. Sir, we're seeing more increased tweets from President Trump on the investigation. We're seeing more movement out of uh, Mr. Mueller's investigation. Is this a sign it's wrapping up soon and a sign of the White House feeling the pressure? I don't know, nor do you, I suspect, because it's been done professionally incredibly quickly, but I don't know whether it's done. Only the investigators know that, and we'll see. Yes, ma'am. There was a new report related to the Senate intelligence um, investigation. Did that come as a surprise, any of the findings? And how serious was the Russian threat during the 2016 election? I haven't had a chance to see it, so I can't comment. Director Comey, you said you wanted these hearings to be public. Do you anticipate when Democrats take control, coming back to the Hill again, potentially answering some of these questions in public again? Look, I don't love the idea of coming back as much as great as you are. But I respect this institution. It's why I'm here cooperating with the Republicans. I wanted it in public. They wouldn't do it. So I'm, I'm not going to thumb my nose at them or the Democrats. Are there, are there substantive changes from your testimony when you were here, whenever that was, I guess, a year ago in the summer, that you would want to have another public testimony at all? I mean, do you feel like there's anything either that's changed in the investigation or that's changed in your view of it that needs to be clarified? Or? You, if you read the transcript, you'll see I'm, I'm boringly consistent. Do you yeah, have last a, one. A, 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 acting Attorney General Matt Whitaker, do you have confidence in him? No comment. All right, see you all. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, Catherine. They're going to take you now.
right now. Okay. All right.